Hi, I'm Darren Campbell, Sheriff, Iredell County Sheriff's Office. You know, I've been sheriff now going on, in December will be eight years, so I've been here since 2014. My job is to work for the citizens of this county. That's who hire me every four years. I go through a job interview, which is called an election, and if the citizens feel I'm doing my job, then we're elected again. And I think that is one of the, uh, the most humbling things about being sheriff. And then the change you can make from, you know, the hardened criminals to the little child, child in need of the domestic uh, by the officers you choose and by the policies you put in place. There's a lot of things here that I'm really happy of. One is the crime rates, but the other is our athletic league for kids. Uh, we have a teen academy. There's a lot of things. So that's the cool thing about being sheriff is, is you get down to the, you, know, you get down into to that level of is being able to help no matter what level you're at. I don't think there's a problem that a deputy sheriff cannot help you solve or find the resources to solve. Treat everybody like they was your mom. Remember, everybody's not guilty. And you can never effectively police a community if you don't understand that community. And I think that those have been wise words that I've learned through my years, and I think it still applies now, and it's it's really helped us here. You know, we we, we can't be above the community. we got to be a part of the community, and I really instill that and, uh, in, in the deputies here and the employees. And we do things internally. We, we do a lot of stuff to help keep their families. I'm big in the family environment. I think uh, a happy family makes a happy employee, and uh, that's really went well for us. I think one of the biggest things is treating people with respect, being very attentive to the community's need, but at the same time, targeting career repeat offenders and being hard on the drug trade because the drug trade has probably a 70% nexus to all other crimes. So if we put them dealers, those people that wanna deal drugs in our community in an unprofitable position, their customers learn it's not safe and the dealers learn it's not safe to do business here, so they move. And that lowers our larceny and our violent crime and everything, and that's that's why I think you're seeing the the great reduction in crime rates because of the position we took with that. You want safe communities, you want safe schools, you want you want your, your home to be safe when you're away. If you don't want to be in law enforcement, at least be supportive of law enforcement.